What is up, everypony? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am looking at my friend Marmar the Imps, My Little Pony Horror AU, known as My Little Fungus. Now, Wistful did this a little while ago, and I was even asked by Marmar themselves to take a look at it, and I never really got around to it until today. So, we're going to be taking a look at it. I'm going to be reading it from top to bottom, going through every single slide, and we're going to see how things go. So, let's get started. My Little Fungus and My Little Pony Infection AU. Twilight, not infected, head of Reachers, horn burnt out. She has eye bags, her hair is cut short. Hazmat suit is made by Rarity. She lost weight because she's too stressed. Her design's really nice. She always wears masks outside of Bubble. She has a flashlight, a journal, gloves, and med kits. Uh, kept in, er, both kept in here, it says right here, but she has med kits. Um, sanity is 90%, hunger 75%, thirst is 100%, infection is 0%, sleep is 55%, paranoia is 25%, and stress is 85%. Rarity. Neat Freak. A part of the sanitation crew stays within the bubble. Refused to cut her mane, though she agreed to cut her tail. Custom suit and gloves. She has a personal weapon, hid under her pillow. And uh, I can't read this too well. I think it says makes this sound or something. And uh, she has a few things with her. Sanity is 75%. Hunger is 100%. Thirst is 100%. Infection is 0. Sleep is 90. Paranoia is 10. And stress is 35. Pinkie Pie. A scout. Primary caretaker of the twins. Often killing vicious infected. Uh, she cut her hair but it grows back fast. She has armor and bombs. And iron horseshoes. She has backup balloons, a gun, and a headset. Sanity is 90%, hunger is 50%, thirst is 70%, infection is 0%, sleep is 70%, paranoia is 5%, and stress is 15%. Fluttershy, a nurse. Joined in a zone due to the lack of nurses, she's still very shaken up. Not required to cut her mane from, I think that's what that, that, saying is that it's not required uh, she has medicine an old plushie uh, bund hair and a nurse outfit she looks very pretty sanity is 90% hunger is 95% thirst is 90 infection is 0 sleep is 50 paranoia is 89 and stress is 60 applejack scout only has apple bloom left and she's very distant kind of neglecting hygiene scars from fights dulled ribbon armor, and iron horseshoes. She has a gun, a headset, and a bag with goodies in it, I assume. And a hazmat suit, but Rarity refused to let her take a regular one. Sanity is 75, hunger is 45, thirst is 60, infection is 0, sleep is 30, paranoia is 62, and stress is 40. Rainbow Dash. Scout, a part of the lost, or the last, Wonderbolts, usually in the air. Goggles, smiling through her pain, stronger due to flying with all this armor, and one not made by rarity, and she has iron horseshoes. She has a flare gun, gauzes, an oxygen mask due to being high all at high altitudes. Sanity is 95, hunger is 90, thirst is 100, infection is 0, sleep is 76, paranoia is 15, stress is 27. I can tell this one's going to be a little bit of a longer one. Alright, My Little Fungus, an M MLP Infection AU, the infection. Trigger warning for gore, blood, and disturbing imagery. You've heard it here. Stage 1. Symptoms similar to allergies, coughing, blood, loss of appetite, and terrible stomach cramps. Stage 2. Increased coughing, irritation, intense weight loss, still no appetite, weak wing became useless, magic is depleted, black gunk starts to leak from subject, and becomes unresponsive. Stage 3. Appetite returns, cannibalistic urges, bites, consciousness almost gone, aggressive, completely nonverbal, hives cover body, eyes deteriorate, seems stronger, and decay starts to begin. Stage 4. Full loss of consciousness, lost all color, decay sped up, spread via bite, scratch, and saliva, more hives, loss of fur and hair, and odd glowing green aura. And stage five. Oh my god. Final stage. Elongated. 
Weird green fungus on it, uses smell to hunt, not great hearing, and very hungry. Wow. My Little Fungus, The Princesses. Princess Luna, working nonstop, assembled her night ponies to protect Cloudsdale, communicating to the main six via dreams. Sanity is 100, hunger is 90, thirst is 100, infection is zero, sleep is 50, paranoia is 30, and stress is 50. Princess Celestia, intense horn burnout, unsure how to fix it, worried about her pupils. Sanity is 80, hunger is 100, thirst is 100, infection is 0, sleep is 45, and paranoia is 50, and stress is 67. Princess Cadence, very weak, overworking, shining armor is concerned. Sanity is 50, hunger is 68, thirst is 70, infection, I'm guessing she's possibly infected because it shows it's like scratched out here. Sleep is 29, paranoia is 70, and stress is 77. Twilight's map, uh, as we can see, we got Cloudsdale, the Crystal Empire, Canterlot. Um, we got Ponyville, which Ponyville appears to be scratched out, so I'm guessing Ponyville was completely overtaken. So the camp is protected, Canterlot's protected, there's no report on Cloudsdale, and it's it says there's a question mark at the end of the word protect over by Crystal Empire. So that's kind of giving us some details on what to expect on certain areas within this to show if the area is safe or not. So that's pretty cool. All right, the Crystal Empire. Trigger warning, gore, blood, and disturbing imagery. T, I believe the Crystal Empire was safe. We had plans to travel up there, but I believe that might not be a good idea anymore. Dear Twilight, we fear the worst has happened. It has been weeks since we have been contacted by Cadence nor Shining Armor. None of our messages have been getting through. We are trying everything to reach them, yet the last update Shining gave us was that the virus had reached them. He didn't give numbers, so we thought they could handle it. We are sorry, Twilight. Sincerely, Celestia. Twilight. I'm worried. Spike is missing, and now them. I hope that somehow Shining Armor and Cadence are alright. Please let them be alright. Weeks ago outside of the Crystal Empire, groups of ponies walking along a path. Flurry Heart. Daddy, where's Mommy? Shining Armor. Don't worry, Flurry. She'll catch up with us. Flurry Heart, how will she find us? Shining Armor, shh, no more questions. We need to keep moving. Now we got like a picture here. Oh my God. All right, the map is updated. As you can see uh, from the map here, Ponyville's still scratched out. So Ponyville's overrun. The Crystal Empire is now overran. So the Crystal Empire is not safe. Cloudsdale still has no report. But it appears the camp and Cantrelot are protected. Alright, moving on. The CMC plus other friends. Applebloom, age 13 to 15. I assume that's what that means. Very rebellious, trying to help with farms since Big Mac left. Sweetie Belle, 13 to 15, has a boyfriend and getting used to living with her parents again. Scootaloo, 13 to 14, punk rock fan and still living with her aunts. Lily Moon, 14 to 16, introduced Scoot to Punk Rock, moved to Ponyville a few years ago. Bab Seed is 14 to 16, was able to work on the, for a semester, dating twist. Twist, 13 to 15, dating Babs, works on, works at her mom's saloon, or selling, I don't know how to pronounce that properly. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, my little fungus, patient zero, trigger warning, disturbing imagery. Patient information. Name. I'm, that's literally Button Mash's mother. Name is, uh, I, it's crossed out. I do not remember her name, but she's age 38. Occupation is at the daycare and an attendant. Infection, stage one. Patient came in for a checkup, believing she needed a prescription for her allergies. At a closer examination, she immediately was rushed to the ER. The longer we kept her, the more her symptoms worsened. No medicine seemed to stop the progression of the virus. I have decided to contact you, Princess, despite what my staff thinks. This is not a normal virus. I'm sending you these files. Reach out to me as soon as possible. First week. Very weak. Started to refuse most foods and incoherent babbling. Two months. Still no hunger. Severe weight loss. Lo um, loss of speech and aggressiveness. Before she became nonverbal, she answers an important question. Was she near and or eat anything contaminated? 
Patient explained she had a garden. A weird mold was growing on a few of her plants. She gathered the ones untouched. At a further look, it turns out all of it's molded. My staff and I are concerned as the mold seems to be spreading through the garden. We are worried that it is contaminating other sources in Ponyville. We are studying the mold. Patient is a single mother. Her teenage son was, we suspect, might also be infected. Although he seems fine with all his visits. He has been living with his girlfriend's family. He didn't provide a house number or anything. I tell you this as the son mentioned his girlfriend. The name he mentioned seemed familiar. It drove me crazy for days until I realized the name of one of your friend's relatives. I've singled it down to Sweetie Belle. Ponyville High was able to provide who they suspected was the boyfriend. I contacted Rarity to see if she could check on them. No response. She said she's coming back from Canterlot early. Principal Hoofley at pvhs.com. To Sweetie Belle absence. Subject. Dear Principal Hoofley, Sweetie Belle and the whole family has gotten the flu. She'll be out for the rest of the week. Tell her teachers to send her and button mash their homework. Signed, Miss Crumble. Oh, so they actually added button mash to this. That's really cool. Uh, this one's just a side talking about working on it. All right, absence. One out of three. Scootaloo. Sweetie isn't back. I thought it was just for that week. Apple Bloom. She hasn't been picking up my calls. What about you, Scoot? Scoot. No, I've called her at her and her house. Uh, I forgot your name, but I'm just going to call you LM. You guys are overthinking this. It's the flu my sister had for like a whole month one time. Apple Bloom. You sure, Moon? Sweetie has never been this sick. Moon. I mean, I can't say for sure, but just randomly dropping in on her wouldn't help. Scoot. Maybe it would. Sweetie is probably dying to see us. We should visit her after school. Apple Bloom. I got nothing going on after school. What about you, Moon? Moon. I guess so. My sister won't be home until 6 something. Scoot. Alright, let's all meet at the Berry Shrub Lake at 4.30 sharp. After school. The time is 5.15. Apple Bloom. Where the heck is that feely? Moon. Leave it to Scootaloo to be late to her own plan. Scoot. Guys! Moon. Speak of the devil herself. Apple Bloom. Finally. Apple Bloom. What took you so long, Scootaloo? Sorry, guys. My aunts were giving me a hard time about rushing out and all. Moon. Well, let's go before it gets too dark. Scoot. You going to Shellshine's party? Apple Bloom. What? No. I also thought you hated her. Scoot. Heard from snails that her parties are crazy. Thought I'd crash one next time. Apple Bloom. Heh. <laughs> well, tell me how it goes, Dan. Moon. This doesn't look good. Scoot. No way, dude. Apple Bloom, what in Celestia's name? Oh. They're contaminated. There's like a big bubble around the premises. Yikes. Absence, trigger warning, slight gore and blood. Scootaloo, what in the world? Moon, guess we turn back now. Scootaloo, what? No, we need to find out what's going on. Apple Bloom, come on, Scoot. We can do some investigating tomorrow. Moon, don't do anything stupid. Scoot, uh, all right, I'll catch up with you guys soon. Apple Bloom, we should have waited for her, Moon. Moon, I mean, we could have, but she's her own pony. Scoot can handle going home by herself. Apple Bloom, I know, I just have a bad feeling, you know? Moon, the worst thing that could happen is her getting abducted by the government ponies. Apple Bloom, I'm not joking, Moon. Moon, neither am I. Apple Bloom, see you tomorrow, Moon. Thank you for walking me home. Moon, no problem, Bloom. Apple Bloom. Babs, I'm home. AJ. Applejack. In here. She sounds upset. Applejack. Where were you? Apple Bloom. What do you mean? Applejack. You were supposed to be here with Granny. Apple Bloom. I... Oh, oh my Celestia, AJ. I'm so sorry. AJ, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed, Apple Bloom. Downtown Ponyville. The time, 6.45 p.m. Moon. Shit. Amber's home. I thought she would be home later. AM. Moon, what are you doing home so late? Did you have another after school thing? Moon, no, I was just out with some friends. Sigh, finally home. Tap, tap, tap. Scootaloo crawls in through the window. Moon, sweet Celestia, Scoot. You scared me half to... Scootaloo's heavy breathing. Death. Scootaloo, what happened? I, uh, uh, sweetie, and... Is that blood? Let me see your hoof. Moon, holy, that's a lot. Were you attacked by an animal or something? No, it was... It was Sweetie. Oh, Sweetie Belle infected her. 
got my little fungus concepts. Alright, so I'm just going to show these real quick because they look pretty cool. Marmar puts some pretty hard work into these. Uh, Harmony of Flutter Chord Kiddo. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm still going to take Pinky's Leg. Uh, scrapped Apple Dash Kid. Um, Mid Infection Fluttershy again. Scrapped. Rainbow Dash Concepts. Rarity and her kids scrapped. So yeah, we got some uh, stuff here that they worked on. You can pause it if you want to take a look at these. I'm just here mainly for the story, but good job, Marmar. Uh, you're a very good artist, very talented, very talented. Just going to get through these. Like I said, I'm going through every single slide, every single one. Yes, I am. There is a lot of these. Oh, my goodness. All right. Ugh. My Little Fungus, Absence, three out of three. Wait. Yeah, there was a two out of three. I wasn't paying attention. I'm stupid. Anyway, absence, three out of three. Trigger warning, gore, blood, and disturbing imagery. You heard it here. I didn't go home. I decided to do some of my own investigation. Dr. S, did you collect one of the samples you needed? Twilight, I'm guessing that's Twilight. Yeah, I believe so. Your team will keep me updated on the patients, correct? Dr. S, has Miss Rarity heard the news about her family situation yet? Twilight, no, not yet. Her train is arriving next week. Twilight, I plan to tell her along with every pony else together. I don't think Rarity hearing the news alone will be a good idea. Dr. S, withholding this information this long from the elements of harmony is already too dangerous, princess. I quickly ran to the back. All the masked ponies were already leaving. I noticed a small crack in the bubble. Decided to pop in. The worst thing that could happen was I get sick. I entered through a window and I smelled something. Something really bad. I shouldn't have turned on the living room lights. What the hell? I couldn't scream. All the air felt like it was left in my lungs. I was stuck. I then heard it. Her. Sc Scootaloo? Oh my god. Ow, that hurts. Be careful, Moon. Moon. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not a trained professional. Scootaloo, you probably think I'm crazy. Moon, what I think is that you need to go to the hospital, Scoot. Scoot, no, my aunts are going to be so mad. Moon, you need a hospital, Scootaloo. Screw what your aunts think. After an argument and convincing from both ends, Scootaloo decided to go home and tell her aunts about what happened. She left Lily Moon's house that night, but she didn't return back to hers. Scootaloo is missing. Random conversation. Rainbow Dash. Have you guys seen Scootaloo? Applejack. We haven't seen her, Dash. Is everything alright? RD. No. No pony has seen her in a week. Apple Bloom. That can't be right. She told us she was grounded. Moon, she lied. Oh, we got a Equestria National Emergency. Equestria is under an emergency lockdown. Ponyville, Canterlot, Western Equestria, Cloudsdale. These areas are surrounded. Cities are under lockdown. Borders are closed in quarantine. Ponies remain calm. A virus named Neo Interia. Recently discovered by a Ponyville medical team. Please remain calm. Your local princess, mayor, governor will keep the public updated. The virus is caused by a mold. If you spot mold in your house, local park or garden, contact 555-0100. Remain at home. Stay far from the infection. Okay. So this story so far is pretty insane. It actually has some really good storytelling. It's really nice. I really like this so far, Marmar. It's really going well for you. All right, My Little Fungus, Equestria PSAs. Symptoms of Neo Internia. Allergies, watery eyes, hair begins to become thinner, horns and wings become weaker, black liquid, eh, black liquid leaking from nose or eyes, irritated lungs, and decreased hunger. Keeping areas clean, wearing masks outside around infected. How to protect yourself from Neo Internia. Notifying your local government of mold. The mold was found at a local's house. A sample was taken for research. First look at the Magia Eusis mold. Sample of Magia Eusis. Magia Eusis microscopic level and no vaccine yet, yet no updates. Mostly trees, usually ones that harbor fruit. Locations of mold. Non-rotted fruit with mold inside. Gardens are another big one. Keep an eye out for large black patches. Local animals may also carry the virus after eating the mold. Any bite from them could cause the virus to enter the body. I know this is hard to ask from you. I might be honest, but I can hold on to a secret. Even a secret like this? I 
I believe so, but don't ask me to hold my tongue for too long. Thank you. I promise you, I'll get this to Celestia as fast as I can. You better. No need for any more pony family to end up like them. Scootaloo is missing. Date of birth is 420 XXXX. Oh my god, 420. Age is 14. Sex or gender, female. Race is half-bred Pegasus. Eyes are purple. Hair is light purple. Height is 3 foot 5. Weight is 145 pounds. Old yellow hoodie. Wearing black headphones. Identifying characteristics. Her wings are smaller than usual Pegasus wings. If you see Scootaloo, please call her ants. Holiday shores and lofty lanes. Aw, oh, poor Scootaloo. Alright, My Little Fungus, the meeting. Twilight! 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 Twilight, wake up! Twilight! Uh, Spike. Spike. Um, Twilight, Fluttershy and Zakora are here. Twilight, they're here? Why didn't you wake me up earlier? Spike, I've been trying to for like an hour or so. Uh, Fluttershy. Spike, is Twilight up yet? Spike, yeah, she'll be right down. Spike, here she is. Twilight, formal apologies for making you girls wait so long. I hope I haven't kept you waiting for too long. Twilight joins the two downstairs. She leads them to her living room to discuss further matters. Twilight, Spike, could you make some tea? Spike, all right, my specific flavors or Fluttershy? I like Jasmine. What about you, Zakora? Zakora, Jasmine is fine. Twilight, I brought you two here today because of your herbalist backgrounds. I hope I'm not pulling you away from anything important. Fluttershy, oh, it's nothing, Twilight. What questions do you have? Twilight, well, how much do you girls know about molds? All right. Uh, these are just has-been hotel characters. My Little Fungus, The Meeting, Part 2. RS. Breaking news, Mayor Lemonheart has called an emergency press conference. Mayor Lemonheart calls emergency press conference, and we got Rumble, Strip, and Sparkler. Sparkler. Ponies are gathering at City Hall in masses. Our reporter Clip Clippers is there right now. Got some static. Clip Clippers. Here I am right now at the conference. Ponies are still showing up. Miss Lemonheart is about to begin. Ponies mumbling. Lemonheart. Dear Ponyville, as your mayor, I am doing everything I can about these missing fillies. Lemon... Or LM. Stay calm. I promise they will be found safe and sound. Seaberry and Strawberry Cream, parents of Missing Philly. SC, please bring our little girl home. Sunshine, if you hear this, please, please come home. Teleporting. Fluttershy, oh god, Twilight, are you alright? Twilight, uh, yeah, I guess haven't teleported in a bit. Guess I'm a bit rusty. Zakora, if ill, we should stay still. Twilight, no worries, girls. I'm fine, just a slight headache. Fluttershy, Twilight, I must ask, why are we here? Why do you need to know about mold? Twilight, well, this meeting is here. I just overslept and didn't meet up with you two fast enough. Zakora, we told of the mold we knew. What does the path withhold for us? Twilight, well, we're having a mold type of problem. The three traveled throughout the hospital while Fluttershy and Zakora kept asking questions. Twilight kept her answers vague. LM, still no vaccine? Dr. Stable, I can't keep making false promises. What will happen when this comes out? All blame will be put on me. Dr. S, Miss Lemonheart, we are still figuring out what this is. We can't make progress on a vaccine until we completely understand this thing. LM, where is that princess you promised? She was supposed to be here hours ago. Twilight arrives in the room. Dr. Stable sighs with relief and guides the party through the halls. A few introductions were made, but every pony mostly stayed quiet. Dr. S, Sorry for the formal introductions. Dr. Stable, you must be Zakora. I've heard many good things of you. Twilight, I've been working with Dr. Stable for almost two months now. Zakora, it is a pleasure. All right. Got stuff that doesn't have to do with the story, but if you want to check that out, it'll be on their account. All right, the meeting, part three out of four. Trigger warning, gore, blood, dead body, and decay. Oh dear. LH, so sorry for the informal introduction. I know your mayor. I handled that quite poorly. Or I know as your mayor, I handled that quite poorly. Dr. S, this mold has been infecting ponies with an unknown virus. This mold has no clear history. Maybe this something more, more magical. Dr. S, at first we passed it off as flu season. Yet case after case, it has gotten worse. Twilight, I brought you two here because I believe you could help us. We haven't been able to get any other herbalist out here yet. This pony right here is clearly infected. 
because you can see the stuff coming from his nose. LH. As more and more cases come, more ponies are questioning if their own mayor can't provide an answer. Well, Ponyville will just collapse in the havoc. Uh, these are blanked out. No, 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 this can't be happening. Dear Celestia, this can't be happening. Twilight, other stage six ponies like this have already been dealt with. We closed to three more cases like them. We need to work together. Dr. S, this might be hard to swallow, but Equestrian needs you. Fluttershy, no. Oh, she looks horrible. I'm guessing that's Sweetie Belle, maybe. Fluttershy, no, 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 no. Fluttershy ran throughout the hospital. The other tried to follow, but had lost her. Twilight promised she will talk to Fluttershy soon. Fluttershy, uh, Fluttershy charged through nurses, angry grunts, and hollers directed towards her. She didn't care. She needed to get out. She needed to get home. Isn't that the element of kindness? Why is she in such a hurry? Never seen Fluttershy go so fast. Discord. Fluttershy. Wait, I made cookies. Cinnamon swirl, your favorite. That couldn't have been real. Why Twilight show me that? Why did she hide it for so long? Discord, sorry to interrupt your crying session, dear, but Rarity called. Rarity? Hours after, with Dr. Stable and Zakora, Ponyville University, Laboratory, 9 p.m. Dr. S, I'm sorry to keep you here so late, Miss Zakora. I expected more help with this. Zakora, Fluttershy is a sensitive soul. We must be patient with her, Doctor. Dr. Stable, you were correct, but Twilight promised me she would work with us. I guess my expectations were too high. Zakora, we must work with what we have. Twilight will show sooner or later. Sample for subject 113. Dr. Stable, nothing has changed. Next sample. Wait, huh? Dr. Stable, gasp, Zakora. Oh, we got uh, more stuff here. The guest OC for the infected background is a box of it on Instagram. That's a pretty cool OC. Hell yeah, you even got a shark tail. That I'm rocking with that. All right. All right, My Little Fungus, The Meeting, Part 4. Trigger warning, bruises. Dear Rarity, I'm currently saving up to see you in Canterlot. I know you're only there for a month, but it feels like you've been gone forever. Opal still isn't back yet. I'm sorry Dad says she was likely taken in by another family. But oh, some better news. I'm making straight A's, and I got a boyfriend. Don't tell mom or dad, they would embarrass me so badly. Writing to you since I can't use my phone right now. Mom grounded me after she found when she got the phone bill. But by next week, I'll be able to call you again. Sweetie Belle, I need a drink of water. I think I'm messing up so much because I haven't drank anything. All right. That was the last letter I got from her. I thought she was just busy with school until I got that letter from Twilight. Dear Rarity, Urgent, return to Ponyville. We need you here soon as possible. Your family might be in trouble. Tell no one about this. A new virus is on the rise. We suspect that your family might be infected. We are worried for them and you. I'm sorry we cannot explain further. Give us a call when you can. From Twilight. The train ride left was more nerve wracking. Remembering Twilight's message, was her family all right? She already thought about it, yet now it was becoming a reality. Rarity called all of her friends. Only Pinky picked up. The others presumed were busy. Pinky was more than excited to hear from her. She offered for them to meet up at the station. Rarity agreed to it. Pinky, Rarity, Rarity. Pinky, sorry to be so late. Pinky, late? Your train arrived early. Thought you'd never get here. Rarity, well, I told every pony I'd be here next week, but Candlelot Station kept delaying the trains here. Pinky, fashionable late, I see. Rarity and Pinky caught up as they walked to the hotel. On their way there, they noticed some pony flying above them. It was Rainbow Dash. The two mares waved her down. She flew down to them. The two saw how disheveled she was. Er, disheveled. Dead? I don't know how to say that. After a bit of begging, Rainbow Dash decided to join them. Rainbow Dash. Scootaloo's missing? Oh no, Rarity, my bad. Rarity. Scootaloo's missing? Oh dear, I'm sorry. No wonder you're a mess. RD. Haven't stopped looking yet. Applejack is getting tired of patching me up. Rarity. Darlings, I know you two are busy, but could you possibly stay the night with me? I just... I just feel so alien being back here. Pinky. Of course, Rarity. I'm all partied out anyways from today. Rarity. Dash, I know what the current situation and all. RD. If you need a friend tonight, I'm here for you, Rarity. Also, AJ's been telling me to take a break every now and then. Pinky. 
Some sprinkles are still in my mane. Hiding me a size cake was not a good idea. Rainbow is already asleep? Rarity, let her rest, darling. Oh, some pony is calling. Later that night. Rarity, Fluttershy, hello, dear. Finally, some pony answers me back. Applejack and Twilight still haven't called me back. Rarity, what? Pinky, wait, what's happening? Incoherent grunts from Rainbow Dash, I assume. Rarity, that princess has a lot of explaining to do. Pinky, she saw what now? Rarity, slow down. Rarity, not now, Pinky. We need the catch to dash. Pinky, I'm sure. I'm Fluttershy. I'm sure Fluttershy missaw or exaggerated something. I, there's a few spelling errors here. Uh, Rainbow, or Rarity, my sister might be dead, Pinky. To be continued in Cascade. Background ponies. Um, we got this pony here. Credits to Weppy Things on YouTube. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Moving on. All right, My Little Fungus, post-meeting profiles. Draft. Dear Celestia, please understand something, something, never dishonor you, something, ashamed to tell you. Uh, R-H, you need, you need to tell them, blank, 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 something, stay silent. Update, 16.2.1. Twilight is refusing to tell, to tell Celestia. Nurse Red is threatening me. She'll go to the press. I've tried everything. No medicines are working. I, uh, it looks like she's going to be clicking on, uh, EOH profiles here. Twilight Sparkle, age 24, gender is female, occupation is princess of friendship, awareness is 100%, mental status is unsure, marital status is single, breed is an alicorn, and infected is false. Notes, princess of friendship, element of magic, she began work on the case with me soon after I sent me letter. Twilight and I have been working on this for two months. Though she has been more secretive with her friends, I worry that this will backfire. Pros. She's intelligent. The access to her library has been very helpful. Hardworking. She has been with at the lab almost every day. Cons. Mental state is weary. She is beginning to show cracks in her mental state. Dishonesty. I believe this will lead into more trouble. I worry about the truth she's hiding from her friends and me. Applejack. Age 25. Gender is female. Occupation is an apple farmer. Awareness is 85%. Mental status is strong. Marital status is engaged. Breed is full-bred earth pony. In fact, it is false. Notes. Applejack joined the team at the muscle. She has been collecting all types of samples. Element of honesty is correct. She doesn't hold back. Sometimes I'm a little offended. Her and Twilight have a strong bond. I see why the two are friends. I don't have too much to say about her. She's a fine mare. Pros. Strong. She's been able to knock down infected trees well. Provided food. It's been nice to have home-cooked foods. Cons. Busy. Due to the season, Applejack has a large workload. Too close. Applejack might be too close to the patients and might let it slip to the public. Pinkamina Diane Pie. Age 25. Gender female. Occupation. Party planner. Awareness is 70%. Mental status is strong. Marital status is married. Breed is a full-bred earth pony. And infected is false. Notes. Twilight has said positive things about the element of laughter. Although we haven't talked, Pinky seems to light up the room. Pros. Active. Pinky seems to be up to date with most things. Almost weirdly aware. Reliable. Pinky always has something up her sleeve. Whether you need seemingly... Whatever you need, she seemingly has it. Cons. Physically weak. While agile, she's not very strong. Fluttershy. Gender is female. Age is 27. Occupation is a zoologist. Awareness is 80%. Mental state is weak. Marital status is single. Breed is in half-bred Pegasus. Infected is false. Notes. Element of kindness. Fluttershy was told of the virus at the first sight of the body she panicked. Twilight reassured me she would talk to her. Hopefully she'll be able to help after Twilight's talk. Pros. Good with animals. Herbalist information. And cons. Easily scared and sensitive. Notes. I have little to no information about these. We'll update soon. Rainbow Dash, age 26, gender, female, occupation, wonderful, awareness, 20%, mental status, unstable, marital status, engaged, breed, full-bred Pegasus, infected, false. Notes, element of loyalty, Rainbow Dash has been busy with looking for Scootaloo. Applejack says she's been reckless lately, that she's getting hurt left and right. The Pegasus is putting herself at unneeded risk. AJ has no other comments. 
Rainbow has no reason to suspect anything going on, yet AJ is her fiance. I wouldn't be surprised if she told her anything. Pros. Fast. She's incredibly fast. This could be useful for later incidents. Loyal. If she's as loyal as everyone says, she would make a good member of the team. Cons. Stubborn. At times she might not listen or be too dedicated to something. Reckless. As said before, she's putting herself in harm's way. This might be a problem down the line. Rarity. Age 26. Gender female. Occupation. Fashion. Designer. Awareness is 0%. Mental status is strong. Marital status is single. Breed is a full-bred unicorn. Infected is false. Notes. Element of generosity. As of right now, I have very little notes. Rarity is stuck in Canterlot right now. We haven't heard much back from her. Pros. Neat freak. This need of cleanliness will be good for the future. Good with fabrics. Making protective gear will be essential. Cons. Dramatic. This might cause problems. Weak. Again, she's not that strong. All right. So we got My Little Fungus extra profiles. Lyra Heartstrings, 30, female, unicorn. Lyra is a music teacher at the Ponyville Middle School. Loves her wife. The two are very close. The opted for adoption for their niece, Lyra, was upset about her sister's recklessness. She vowed to take care of Adam. Tries the best she can. Bonbon bon supports her and she supports Bonbon. Bonbon, bon, sweetie drops. 32, female, full-bred earth pony. Retired S-M-I-L-E agent. Living a peaceful life married to Lyra and Ponyville. Bonbon bon works at home, making sweets for her business. She often finds her kids sneaking candies from her work area. Amor Atamik Adam. 15, female, half-bred unicorn. Adopted by her aunts, Lyra and Bonbon. Bon. She calls them moms. Adam was adopted by her aunt, Lyra, after her patients became unfit to raise her. She has been with them since she was 11. She attends Ponyville High. She's close friends with Lily Moon, being exes, actually but they don't like to talk about it. She's very high energy, Bon Bon loves doing her hair, and Adam picks out different hair ties for each morning. Big B Barnabas, I think that's what that says. Age eight, male, earth pony, adopted by Lyra and Bon Bon a year after they adopted Adam. Big B, B was born with leg deformities that left him without back legs. Due to his bio parents being very young, the two decided to give him so he would have a better life. B is constantly up and going, He's doing everything to get his cutie mark, never giving up on anything. He loves his moms and big sister. They framed the drawing he did of the family in the living room. That's sweet. Pipsqueak, 14 male earth pony. Adopted by Luna after his mother died. After begging and begging Luna to join the bat pony army, she finally gave in. Now Pipsqueak is being trained by a trust guard and friend of Luna's. That's awesome. Cheerly and Berry Shine. Cheerly is 36, female and earth pony. And Berry Shine is 34, female, and Earth Pony. Berry Shine has been sober for over a year. The two have always been distant. The half sisters have drifted apart. Cheerly has continued being a teacher. Recently, Berry Shine reconnected with Cheerly with a rocky start. The two of them even move in together. Although Berry Shine has seemingly caught the flu, she reassures Cheerly that it's nothing. Aw, oh, no, that's not good. It's clearly something. My Little Fungus, Cascade, 1 out of 10. Trigger warning bruises. The same night at Ponyville High. AJ, where is that filly? She said she would be here. Moon, or I think that's Moon, right? L, Applejack. <sighs> AJ, oh, howdy, girls. Weren't expecting to see you here. Oh, it's Lyra. Yeah, this is Adam's first recital. What about Apple Bloom? Is she nervous? Applejack, aw, shucks. Of course not. That filly is already backstage. Bon Bon, it was good seeing you, Applejack, but we got to get our filly backstage. Applejack, Cheerly, is that you? Cheerly, yep, in the flesh and blood. Applejack, didn't expect to see you here. You always come to these shows? Cheerly, yes, mostly. I'm here to cheer on my old students. Applejack, show would be starting soon. Talk to you after the show. Cheerly, it'll be nice to catch up. Applebloom, I thought Sweetie Belle would at least show up for this. Even Scoot was excited. Crowd full of ponies. BS. I have to go to the bathroom. Cheerly, are you sure? If you're not feeling well, we can go home. Berry Shine. No, no, I just, I need to use the bathroom. Oh, she looks like she's getting infected. Yep, look at that. Blood, gore, and violence in this one here. Okay. Here we go. Got these two running to the school. Uh, the doctor and Zakora. Zakora, where is she? Dr. S, I'll find her. Wait her. He's looking around. 
Dr. S whispering, Applejack, we have a problem. AJ whispering, Doc, what kind of problem? Dr. S, the end of the world type problem. Bon Bon, I have to run to the little Phillies room real quick. No, Bon Bon, don't do it. Lyra Hart, don't worry, I'm filming every single bit, Bon Bon. Bon Bon, AJ, what are you doing out here? AJ, oh, a uh, friendship emergency, you know? Would you two girls be able to take Apple Bloom home? Bon Bon, of course, AJ, I hope every pony is okay. Bon Bon, what is that sound? Oh God, I don't want to see it. Yeah, it's exactly as I expected. Infected as shit. Credits page. Uh, <laughs> it's Ina. I didn't even notice. Is that <laughs> background pony Ina? I didn't even notice Ina was in there. Hi, Ina. Hi, it's me, Ina Waves. All right, you got Ina. So yeah, she's infected. Oh, I'm there too. <laughs> I didn't know I was in there. I didn't even pay attention. Background Pony belongs to James E-Life on YouTube. I, I wonder who that guy is. I wonder who that fella is. Background Pony belongs to Vibrant Bones on Discord. All right. Moving on. Cascade, 3 out of 10. Blood, gore, and violence. AJ, that's Bomb Bomb. We need the run to turn around. She found her. Dr. S. Applejack, we don't have time. She'll be all right. AJ, if you ain't going to go back for her, I'm going by myself. Applebloom, what's with the screaming? L uh, Moon. Maybe someone is dying. Gives us good enough excuse to ditch this. Apple Bloom, not funny, Moon. RP. Um, Miss Song Note, what do we do now? Applejack. Bon Bon, I tried to get back here as fast as I could. Dr. S, I fear you were correct to trust you in your institution. BB. I didn't, I didn't mean to. She lunged at me. I didn't mean to. Oh, Bon Bon. AJ, we should have stayed. Dr. S, we couldn't do much. We told our side of the story and the paramedics are already know of the infection. Dr. S, right now the most important thing is getting to Twilight. Damn. A brief break from My Little Fungus. All right, moving on to the next slide. This is just her talking about the uh, stuff here. All right, Cascade part four out of 10. Uh, we got trigger warning, blood, gore, and disturbing imagery. God damn it, I tried to pause it, but TikTok's stupid. Bonbon bon was shoved into a cop car. Despite protests from Applejack, Dr. Stable had convinced her to leave. As the school evacuated, Lily Moon searched for Apple Bloom. That music is really distracting. For Apple Bloom. For somehow got separated from the group. Lily Moon left the group and made it to a familiar path. He knew where Apple Bloom had gone now. Uh, we got Apple Bloom sitting on a swing. Lily Moon. Did you get your tetanus shot before you got on these swings? Lily Moon. What's wrong? Besides, a murder literally happening at our school? Apple Bloom. This was a big night. Scootaloo and Sweetie Bill. Then my sister leaving. Then Bon Bon going crazy. A screaming about that pony turning into a monster. Moon. Well, um, I have something to tell you. I I saw Scoot before she disappeared. She was manic and I said Sweetie was a monster and said... Oh, no. She said, um... She was manic and said Sweetie was a monster. And bit her. I tried to convince her to go to the hospital. You know what happened and you hid it from me? Those were my friends, Moon! Moon, I know. I just couldn't bring myself to tell you. It made no sense, and I didn't know how to tell you. Where are you going? Far from you. Apple Bloom starts running into an unknown direction. Lily Moon follows right behind her. Lily Moon, Apple Bloom, Apple Bloom, come back. Lily Moon, Bloom, there you are. Dear Celestia. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's creepy. Yeah. All right, My Little Fungus, Cascade, 5 out of 10. They are depending on you, Twilight. They need you. They need you as their princess. They need you. They need you. They need you. You're going to fail them. You've already failed them. You failed. Twilight. Princess Twilight, we have made a discovery. Rarity. Twilight Sparkle, where are you? RD. Twilight, come out. You have explaining to do. AJ. What in the hay are you girls doing here? R. Ah, so I see it's not just been Twilight lying to us, it's you too, Applejack. Twilight, girls, please calm down. AJ, you take that back right now, Missy, I ain't no liar. Twilight, please stop arguing enough. R. Not telling your friend her family died and pretending like it didn't happen seems like a lie, you traitor. RD, Rarity, stop. AJ, them fighting words, Rarity. Twilight, girls, enough. No, I will not stop. You lied to us. You didn't even tell Dash. Do you even care about her? Enough! 
Is that it? Oh, that's it. That's all there was so far. The story was going so well. I was super invested in it. I really like this. The only thing, there's a few issues. Like there were a few parts where I messed up my words. Um, I guess a few moments, it was probably because my throat was really dry because I haven't drank much water today. But there were a few spelling errors, which happens, you know. I'm not mad about it. I'm not even judging for it. It happens. But it's a very good story, and I really like where it's going. I hope Marmar continues this because I would love to look at a part two down the line. It's a really solid story, and I really think y'all should check this out. It'll be linked in the description below, so make sure to go check it out. Also, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I would appreciate it. Dislike if you didn't enjoy it. I don't really give a shit personally. And that's all I really got to say. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Silver L3.